How's it going, everyone? I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday, your Thursday, my Friday. And that is 2022 Hit Parade Football Autographed Limited Edition Series 16, a dual case break, 20 boxes. A lot of great stuff here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, and congrats to the people who won those spots in the, those uh, two Rookies and Stars fillers. All 32 are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a six, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Patrick down to Steve after eight. Now two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. We got Saints down to Jaguars after eight. Now remember with these uh, repack products, definitely trade at your own risk. All right, Patrick with the Saints, Dayton with the Chargers, Patrick with the Niners and Eagles and the Rams, Steve with the Cowboys, Don with the Falcons, Barry with the Bills, Don with the uh, Steelers, Damian with the Giants, Donald with the Chiefs, James with the Cardinals, Zach with the Jets, Donald with the Seahawks, Chad with the Texans, Alex with the Bengals, Anthony with the Vikings, Steve with the Patriots, Zach with the Commanders, Chad with the Dolphins, Patrick with the Broncos, Roy Last spot, Mojo, Green Bay Packers. Chad with the Buccaneers. Frank with the Bears. Patrick with the Panthers. Barry with the Browns. Chad with the Colts. Donald with my Raiders. Patrick with the Ravens. Donald with the Lions. Patrick with the Titans. And Steve Birch with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's sort by team alphabetically. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. Thanks, everyone, for making it happen. And um, I did find another two cases of this, right? Exact same thing, limited edition, Series 16, all autographs, right? So we can do another dual case. And we're going to do the same format. We're going to sell uh, some full spots and plan for a couple fillers. Although, if those full spots sell out pretty briskly, we can cancel a filler, too. We'll pivot to whatever is, uh, is, is quickest for us. All right. Good luck, everybody. Two cases. Thursday night football game, 15 sec 14 seconds left. Apparently, Gilo is saying that Mariota was threatening. Falcons were threatening, but ended up going backwards with a chance to tie it up, and then that was that. Panthers drove down the field. They kick a field goal. They're up 25 to 15. Should be a comfortable win for Carolina, who I feel like everyone kind of left for dead after Christian McCaffrey and coaching changes and all that sort of stuff. But didn't they, I think, didn't they fire some coordinators or something like that? <clears throat> Either way, either way, they've been, they've been playing some pretty competitive football. Oh yeah, so what do the NFC South standings look like? That's sort of an ugly division, isn't it? Yeah, the Falcons and Tampa Bay Buccaneers are tied for first in that division with four and five records. Yeesh. I think the conference record of four and two gives the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the, uh, the tiebreaker there. All right, first one out of the gate is Jahan Dotson, 64 out of 75, turn of the century autograph for Zach and the Commanders.
Next one is Rondale Moore from Select Football. Three out of 25. It's a sharp looking card for James in Arizona. Oh, let's. Nick was helping me out a little bit earlier today. Let's turn that camera around here so we can get a top down look for these boxes. And it's a final. Carolina 25, Atlanta 15. I mean, that's that's is that that's easily the worst division in football, right? I think AFC East has three six-game winners. Ravens got a six and five. AFC South maybe not not as great. Just Titans with five and three, and then after that's Colts. Three, five, and one. Three and six, and one and six. One, six, and one. All right, we got draft day autograph. Drake London started from the bottom. Now we're here. Donald, of the Dirty Birds. Nice. Rex got a couple spots in that Star Wars filler. That fills that Star Wars break and more importantly unlocks the Jersey Fest promo. There's Aaron Donald. Nice one. Uh, that's from an old Topps football set from 2015. Nice. Rams, Patrick. Maybe it's not feeling like it's... Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think that, that, that was just moving slow, slowly. That break was moving slowly in general. But now that this is the last uh, Jersey Fest break, I'm sure... It'll go rather quickly. There is a Micah Parsons rookie auto, 39 out of 75 from Absolute Football. Steve Birch, Dallas. Next is Derek Carr for my Raiders. That's going to go to Donald. It's from Absolute Football, 2021 Absolute Football. I feel a lot of changes for the Raiders in the offseason. I was, uh, my, I was well, actually kind of eyeing this trailer, the Amazon Prime show, The Peripheral. The peripheral, the peripheral. I can't say that word for some reason. Does that does that show move the needle for anybody? Uh, apparently, it's a uh, from the makers of Westworld. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Westworld. From the makers of somebody. All right, we got a graded card in limited edition. Graded cards not too common. We got a PSA 9 rookie autograph, Jalen Hurts, for your 8 No Eagles. From 2020 Obsidian. That'll be for Patrick and the Fly Eagles Fly. Was that on the sell sheet, Damien? Let me take a look. Yeah, it sure was. Top left. Next to the Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I'm going to sell sheet. This is Jerry Judy, 65 out of 99. Shadowbox autograph for my rivals, the Broncos. Patrick Cox with Denver. 
Is this show about not about seeing people out of the corner of your eye? I think so. That's exactly what it's about, Rex. The peripheral, peripheral. You're a lot closer than you think. All right. Next box is a George Pickens on card autograph. I feel like uh, he's uh, he's often been a uh, a redemption. So good to see a live autograph of his. That's going to go to the Steelers, and that'll be for Donald. And drive through on cards as well. On card and the the non redemption. It's live. And there's Christian McCaffrey. Two out of twenty five. No McCaffrey, no problem for the Panthers. They took care of business against Atlanta tonight. Two out of twenty five. That's for Carolina. Patrick Cox with the Carolina Panthers. All right, but, but wait, there's more. Let's play two, as Ernie Banks would say back in the day. And if you like this hit parade, autographed limited edition, we got another dual case. Available on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yeah, Damien's looking for that, uh, looking for a Saquon Barkley. Could be in here. Second case. Good luck. Nice, uh, nice revival this year. I, I guess Saquon Barkley was all right last year, but has, has really... Really done well this year, even better. All right, we have Kenneth Walker the third, silver ink autograph, rookie steel signatures from Elements. Donald with Seattle with a spot he got straight up. Kenneth Walker seems like every every week he's getting better and better. Any massive fits out of Prism World Cup? Absolutely, every break. National landmarks cards of some of the top players. Some great autographs. Old school, new school. Got a one of one autograph in the last break. Javi Hernandez. Yeah, each break. Triple relic and autograph. Aiden Hutchinson. 16 out of 149. Detroit. Donald with Detroit. <laughs> no worries, Drive. Appreciate you watching. Yeah, no worries, Kenner. Yeah, watch the tape. All the videos are up. Some nice stuff in each break. And a graded card, we got Najee Harris. Two color, uh, two color jersey and on card autograph. 79 out of 99 for the Steelers. 810 is the grade on that. Nice one from NT. Donald with the Steelers. I, how do I feel about the Eagles, Rex? The, the Eagles. I've watched the Eagles a bit. It seems like the most complete team in the NFL today. There is, there are few things 
you can criticize about the Eagles. It all starts with the, with the, with the lines, right? Offensive line is great. That means you can run the ball a lot. That means a young quarterback like Jalen Hurt doesn't have to throw it 40, 50 times a game. They control the tempo of the game. On the other side, defensive line is great. They can rush. They can pressure and attack the quarterback, which, you know, all that makes the jobs of the linebackers and secondary, you know, makes their lives a lot easier. They can play a lot better. There's DK Metcalf. Red, white, and blue prism, PSA 9 in his college gear. I like it. It's a sharp-looking card there for Seattle. That's going to go to Donald. So, yeah, I mean, I, th I think they're one of the most complete teams that I've seen in a little while. Now, the only thing, they just have to stay healthy. You know, they have to, they have to, part of it's a mental challenge. They got to, they got to, they got to, you know, keep the foot on the gas. Not only in every quarter of every game, but of, uh, throughout the rest of the season. Now, how long do they go undefeated? That's the, that's the thing. It's not easy to go undefeated in the, in the National Football League, especially with the extra game, with the game 17. Now, I'm sure that there'll be some random game where it's, you know, any given Sunday, right? Where there'll be some random game where they'll get beat. And, you know, at the moment, it'll probably be like, how the heck did that happen? But I'm sure over the course of the season, they'll probably look at it and be like, all right, that was the blip, you know? It happens. We got Devonta Smith, speaking of the Eagles. Right, and you, you, have, you have pass catchers and playmakers like Devonta Smith A.J. Brown, Dallas Goddard, it's 22 out of 35. This goes to the Eagles, Patrick Cox. So they can't, it's not like they can just double-team this guy, you know, but they've got a well-balanced passing attack too. So it'll keep defenses honest. Like the one little, and I think they've been correcting this issue, but the one little thing was they, they've been outscored in the second half for a number of games, like they would lose the second half. Mostly because they were up by so much in the first half, but but they, they need to kind of figure out how to finish off games, but they've been working on that too. So there's Tyreek Hill, Chiefs edition, going to Donald. Ooh, three out of five, that's gold. Donald, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Out of fives and under, getting that train whistle. Ken, are you been busy? Busy's good, better than not being busy. Having a bit of a moral dilemma with the World Cup this year. Yeah. I suppose you could say that about every World Cup, though, couldn't you? The whole World Cup in general. And organization. There's Mike Evans, sign of the times autograph from Upper Deck. It's pretty nice. It goes to the Buccaneers. The only team he's known, Chad, the Tampa Bay. Now, these co the college stuff reminds me, just before you get into this next dual case break, that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, we'll go by the checklist first. Obviously, Mike Evans and DK Metcalf are pretty obvious because they've only played for one team. But if it, say it's like a retired player, and they played for multiple teams, and there's no checklist, then we'll, then we'll send it out to uh, the team that uh, the player played for the longest if they're retired. And if there's no checklist, we'll uh, send to the team they're currently on. But most of these cards have a checklist. There's Travis Etienne Jr. Rated rookie, autograph, hollow. I like that hollow parallel. 79 out of 125. Jaguars, Steve Birch with a spot that he won.
Two more to go. Like I said, we got another dual case of this up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. We got some full spots available where you can try to win spots in, uh, in the fillers. All right. And we've got Chris Olave, 29 out of 49, rookie jersey and autograph from NT Collegiate Football. That will be for the Saints. It's going to go to Patrick. I think he's been getting every, each and every week. Seems like he's improving too. All right. Final box. Good luck. We have Hit Parade Baseball on the site. I think we have Hit Parade Baseball on the site. Case Hits Edition, I want to say. If you want to try a different sport, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Final one is going to be for the Fly Eagles Fly. 50 out of 99, Dallas Goddard, playoff ticket autograph. On the road to victory. Something, something, something. Patrick Cox with the Eagles. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Do I have anything else to do in this break? No, no, it's not a Jersey's Fest break. No break credit given away. Just a real solid break. That's it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.